uh, let me introduce okay. you and uh, and then uh, uh, Guillermo can start recording. Actually, he started recording. Okay. Uh, hi, everybody. And uh, okay, so this is our second talk today. Uh, it will be a talk on overconvergent dual Eichler Shimura maps by uh, Juan Esteban Rodriguez. Uh, he's in Colombia. Okay, so uh, please, uh, Juan Esteban, uh, tell us uh, tell us your story. <laughs> so thank you, Adrian, for, for the introduction. Uh, okay, so this is uh, work under the direction of uh, Vincent Piloni. Uh, this is actually some uh, application of uh, his Tiger uh, Coleman theory for the model group with the uh, Boxer. Uh, in this, uh, this last uh, thing he, he mentioned in his previous talk about uh, the relation between the uh, finite slope of uh, this uh, Betty cohomology and the finite slope of uh, coherent cohomology. Okay, so uh, we are going to focus uh, for the model group case. And uh, moreover, uh, well, as I will mention later, this uh, well, talk is going to construct essentially the other half of a map which was already built by uh, Yubita and the other Yubita and Stevens of uh, between overconvergent uh, et al. cohomology and overconvergent uh, modular forms. So uh, let me start with some uh, notation. So the V, P, the yeah, prime, uh, N, bigger than three, an integer, prime to P, um, and also just a little N, some uh, positive integer, uh, maybe bigger than one. And uh, we will consider this uh, the modular curve, uh, the affine modular curve, which we know as Y. And its compactification. Mm -hmm. Of level so level gamma one of N and level at P, which is the one we are interested in. And maybe I will just forget this level at N and just focus on the level at P of gamma not of P to the N inside of zero to Z. Uh, also we'll fix a uh, notation for the universal Uh, generalized elliptic curve so uh, this is just well the smooth part of, of this object is uh, kind of uh, uh, a building scheme uh, which is extended to the cost which is in uh, this uh, tape group and uh, we have a unit section from h to, to e and we let omega e denote the pullback of the differentials, the relative differentials of e over x. So this is what uh, we're going to refer to as the model shift. Finally, well, as usual, we write omega k e as the k tensor power of the shift omega. Okay. So uh, what we want to, to, to study here are the cohomology groups of this uh, model curve. So there are, let's say, kind of two different uh, uh, tables for, for these cohomology groups. I'm going to erase because I need to space. So there is one uh, kind of group which arises as uh, 
you say either better cohomology of local systems or a tal cohomology of local systems or the rank cohomology of uh, vector bundles with an integral connection. And all these three are kind of at least morally the same object, which arises from a representation of GO2. So want to study, I hope, study. Cohomology of X. So there are two kind of groups. So those coming from GO2 representations, as Sansan mentioned in the previous talk, which via some uh, period maps, which depends on the kind of cohomology we're considering, will give us uh, local systems. Over X. And uh, well, just following the same notation, he he uh, presented the the, the the previous talk. So let. I'm afraid what you're writing is almost impossible to read because it's because the board's shiny where you've wiped it. Is there something oh, you can do to dry oh. the board? Let me. No, this is not working. So. Uh, let me try this. My work. Is it better? Is a bit not? better, yeah. Yes. A little bit. Well, uh, I think I will try just to erase with this then. Yeah. Not to use water. Okay, I'm sorry. It's hard to erase this. Okay, so uh, let's see. Inside B, inside GL2, be the usual Borel of upper triangular matrices and the diagonal torus. So as Vincent uh, mentioned, we can go from uh, two representations uh, to actually uh, coherent shapes or even vector bundles, say vector bundles over X. And uh, somehow what uh, Hodge theory or periodic Hodge theory is doing at least for for, for this uh, model for group is relating these two so these two kind of uh, cohomologies so this touch theory okay so there is a first um, um, tool we, we we are going to to use uh, a lot and um, I have today I, I will focus in in the periodic setting so. We are work mostly with the periodic Hodge theory. Um, well, okay. So, let me, yeah, I think it's not working very well with this. So, Uh, let me introduce uh, the, the shifts we are going to consider and the framework, the periodic framework we are going to need. So, uh, for that, we will use, uh, we will see X given Y as uh, addict spaces. Over QP. Uh, QP to P and um, also we will we construct essentially all the, the shifts either vector bundles or the etal shifts in the protal site of Y or uh, if we are working with X so we need to be careful with the cusps uh, after this work of uh, Diao and other people, they uh, generalized, or at least they, they adapted this uh, Proetal theory of Scholze to, uh, to deal with, with costs in the, well, the pro commercial side. So I will mostly refer to uh, 
to pull it outside, just forgetting the cost a little bit. Okay. So let me. Um, uh, so let maybe you know x infinity be this uh, perfectoid modular curve. which uh, as Vincent mentioned in the previous talk is the inverse limit of the finite levels modular curves uh, without no not at level at p uh, gamma p to the n. So we should also prove that this uh, space has a perfect structure. And actually we have a period map uh, to the flag variety of uh, GO2, which in this case is isomorphic to, to P1. Okay. Uh, moreover, for this choice of the modular curve, uh, this, uh, this is a pro etal covering of uh, Gadagru uh, IWN, where this IWN is a subgroup of GO2 set. P, uh, which admits an Ivahori decomposition. And that's all what we need. Okay. Um, okay. So we will, to, we will use essentially this map uh, to to make the dictionary between the representations, the, the, the uh, algebraic representations or the group theoretical objects uh, to uh, uh, our modular curve. That's uh, the way we, we are going to, to build up objects this way. Okay. So, So let uh, TP E denote the Tate uh, module of uh, the elliptic curve, the universal elliptic curve, which again uh, say that it, it can be extended to the cusps in a in a good way using this uh, uh, log theory. Uh, uh, and let's denote PK, the K symmetric power of TPE. And I hope the battery of the headphones lasts until the end of the talk. Um, okay, so we want to do, so all things in 87, proof, uh, the Isle Shimura decomposition in the periodic setting uh, for the model curve, in the sense that uh, actually the et al. cohomology of uh, over y of these uh, VK, these local systems, uh, can be written in terms of uh, coherent cohomology. So let me. Right, the way. Uh, this one plus zero omega k plus two. Okay, and well, he also proved that uh, this uh, the composition actually is compatible with uh, the Poincaré and third world. So after uh, there were uh, interpolations of any of these objects. So well, this, this one is uh, Coleman. Sorry, maybe there are interpolations. Uh, 
headphones. Yeah, sorry, I think the battery of the headphones is just. Uh, do you hear me talking? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, it's no problem. It's no problem? Okay. Perfect. Uh, so, there are interpolations of any of these objects. Uh, well, this one, this the command with the uh, over convergent model of forms. Uh, this first cohomology group, let's say, uh, there are interpolations due to Ash Stevens. With this uh, over convergent uh, uh, families of arithmetic homology. And recently, uh, by Box of Pironi, of this. Uh, Homology group of the higher uh, Hida theory, higher common theory. So, uh, natural equation arises since we have interpolations of the these three uh, objects. So, there should be uh, maybe an interpolation of uh, this kind of decomposition. Then, uh, the answer is yes, actually, there is a interpolation of these guys. So, uh, above. Of this interpolation was already done by uh, Yovita and Rada, Yovita and Stevens. Yes. The over conversion A plus two more math. So let me. Say what um, you construct. So they consider uh, some uh, a dull uh, commodity group over K with values in uh, some shift, which is related to uh, completion. Sorry, choice. Of GO2. Uh, and they divide a map from this commodity group to a, a group of over convergent modular forms. Which following uh, the Box of orientation, I, I will write it in this book. Okay. And um, this is done by Greta Yogita Stevens. And actually, uh, we can, what well, I'm trying to, to, to state the following theorem we can construct the other half of this arrow. Uh, from uh, this shift, uh, which is related to the uh, higher, this cohomology, which is related to the deformations so with the local cohomology uh, with certain supports, minus three. Okay, so this, is, this means that there are supports. Can you just read the subscripts there? W something. This uh, H1, uh, W0 and C, and I will say what is W0 right now. Thank you. Where, well, if you can write this one, W for the by group. Uh, it consists in only two elements. One is the identity, and the other is the non trivial element of, of W0. Okay. Thank you. So, Mm, this this commodity is going to be uh, supported in is going to, be to localize around uh, this uh, one, one of two neighborhoods uh, the ordinary locus uh, splits over over x uh, which corresponds to the anti canonical locus if I say this one is over the anti canonical locus while this one is more concentrated in the canonical locus.
So we are able to, to construct this, uh, this, this uh, at least the sequence in families. So we can construct this. And also following the, the same ideas of, of the proof of uh, this uh, algorithm, uh, AKS Shimura map, uh, propagand slope with respect to the Q operator. With respect to the, the UP operator and normalization of the UP operator. We have uh, an exact sequence. Okay. Uh, well, moreover, um, it's possible to, to say something about uh, duality. And uh, to, to, to construct, uh, I mean, instead of using uh, this uh, completion of the verb modules, one can use this a completion of the dual of the verb module and uh, playing the same the same game and actually construct some compatibility with duality. That's okay. So uh, let, let me sketch how the, the construction of these uh, two maps uh, is done. Uh, the idea is first to deal with uh, some torsors over the the modular curve. Oh, Juan Esteban. Yes. This is your theorem, right? Yes. 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 Sorry. 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 So uh, this is uh, the part of Andrea Jupiter Stevens, and this one is uh, the construction line uh, we have we have done. Okay, in this part of, of this map, and well, we also this 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 statements about the uh finite slope uh of the exact sequence is, is essentially a consequence of of, of the finite slope i mean this is a consequence of stability so actually the, the main construction is done in in this arc, okay. Thank you. So um, now let me let me sketch how this is going to work. As I mentioned before, the idea is to, to, is to construct uh, two different kind of torsors over the modular curve. Uh, one is more related to ethyl cohomology groups, or the second one is more related to uh, coherent cohomology. And with this uh, higher common theory, mm -hmm. so. Uh, sketch. So first, uh, we will define two uh, torsos. Over X, then uh, over the model curve, we have the Hodge state exact sequence. Um, this, uh, in terms of, of shifts of the protocol site, can be written in, in this way, which is the one with defining the, 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 the period map. Omega e minus one, uh, where well, this uh, OX is the value completion. Oh, 
noise. So, mm, well, a uh, way to, to write down these maps, since we, we these ships are actually one dimensional, is yeah, some debug maps you see in the notation of, of uh, interactivity students. And what we do next is to define a, this debug and debug dual for torsos. Finally, what we do is uh, we take uh, so so these 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 little maps are going to be uh, equivalent for production of uh, of a torus. So if we want to to only remember the uh, the weight k and forget the determinant is going to be uh, equivalent for an action of uh, an analytic neighborhood of tensor circuit cross. Uh, plus. So we take uh, let's say. Inter uh, CP equivalent internal and internal on ships. So essentially, we, here we are taking the functions of the torsos. So, yeah, with respect to, to the action of some character. Um, so, uh, Okay, so, so, so somehow uh, the, these, these objects, uh, they are going to be already defined over the flag variety. And all what we are doing is just pulling back via yeah, this p hoch type theorem map. Uh, even, even the torsors and, or, or, or the space of functions. So these are objects that are already defined over the flag variety. Um, okay. So how much time do I have? About an hour, okay. That's nice. Um, okay. So I think I, I will explain uh, what are the torsors and how to define these these maps. Okay. Uh, yeah, I over have kind of time to do that. Say the torsos. So the first one uh, is more related with, uh, again, as I say, a pipe homology, a pipe homology. So uh, let so remember that we are working at level uh, gamma naught p to the n. So actually, we have a universal group over. The P and torsion of the elliptic curve over X. This is the universal. And again, we are going to, to identify uh, E with its dual um, elliptic curve via the, the, the polarization. So let me define this. Uh, I call it this Iwahori torsor. Um, this consists on a basis of the tape module tensor with the integral 
with the bonded part of this completed structure sheet, maybe square basis, uh, satisfying certain properties. So first, uh, since uh, I just want to, I, I don't care about the determinant to be solved. So we are going to ask to this uh, basis to be normalized with respect to the uh, pairing of, of the state uh, module. Mm. You don't need square there. Uh, oh, yeah. I square here, right? I mean, I'm taking basis of, of the table. Yes. So, what was the, the question? Or the, the Tate module is two dimensional. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, but uh, I need two vectors. It's just one. Yeah. I need a basis of the tape model. So that's why I just write this. I mean, yes, I, I take pairs uh, of, of two bases. So um, we are asking for that. And then uh, we are asking that mod P to the N, um, these two. Vectors actually belong to the P and torsion of the motor curve. And moreover, I want that the set that they are adapt to the flag induced by the universal group in the sense that uh, the P and torsion divided by the group generated by B2 is. Uh, Isomorphic to the dual of H. Okay. So uh, this torso is the one which uh, is going to define. So yeah, I don't have the space of this torso. Will uh, interpolate. Uh, locally or locally analytic. So, are you requiring that V one mod P to the N be be in H N, or is that not part of the condition? Sorry. Are you requiring that V one mod P to the N be in H N? Uh, yes, 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 sure, sure, sure. I want one two uh, to be in the. P and torsion of the modular curve mod P to the end. So, uh, so actually, uh, I mean, they, they are going uh, to be in, in, in this part and not to have coefficients in O hat mod P to the end. I'm just wondering if um, if there's some condition on V1 or V2 actually landing in the subgroup HN. Uh, uh, yeah, you're right. You're right. I want this. Sorry. Or not. Actually, actually, I think that uh, since we, we have this, this polarization, uh, this condition, it, it, it's enough. I mean, once you have the color polarization, um, the, the kernel of the monthly dual is going to be uh, the universal group, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, yeah. So actually, this condition is. is Essentially saying that B2 is going to land in HN uh, by using this, this polarization. Yeah, if I'm not wrong. Okay. So um, so what we will have to shift. So again, this is this is just uh, taking basis. Of the this geometrization of the tape module, which are adapt to, to the flag variety to, to the flag, sorry, to the flag we have mod p to the n. So you what is the ban? You yes. to say something and you got interrupted. So do you want to finish up there? You wrote something this this torsor will interpolate locally analytic. Yes. You wrote there, you don't want to finish. Ah. 
sorry, sorry, uh, okay, so local identity distributions. I'm sorry, thank you. Yes, yes, so, so, so this also is going to, to uh, interpolate these local identity distributions, which are the, this, this completion of the grammar model. So, uh, yeah, they, they, they are, you know, essentially the, the one which is going to play the, is the part of, of the tau homology. Yeah, thank you. So, uh, okay, so, so then over, Now over, uh, so okay. So recall that we have uh, the, the ordinary locus of the modular curve uh, of level gamma, not p to the n. Actually, it splits in two parts, depending on uh, uh, whether the, the canon, the, the, the universal group is the multiplicative, so it's the canonical group, or the universal group is anti-canonical. Okay, this is uh, what is going to happen. Uh, we will work uh, on some mention in his talk about the disguided pieces of uh, at the, at the ordinary points. So then one can, Fine. Over convergent neighborhoods of uh, this uh, X W part again for W in uh, the by group. So either one of W zero, uh, which let's say uh, they are written in this way. Okay. Okay. So maybe I want to say uh, increasing over convergent neighborhood. So when epsilon gets uh, bigger, this neighborhood is going to shrink uh, to, to, towards the, the ordinary locus. Okay. Uh, over these neighborhoods, we have the, the theory of the canonical group. Um, CN over these uh, over convergent neighborhoods, and uh, we can use it to actually reduce the modular shift to an integral shift. Uh, and actually to construct a, a torsor, which you will have to interpolate uh, uh, these over-convergent classes of, of cohomology classes. So how to do that? How to do that? So let's uh, recall that we have this TPE. To omega E tensor of hat. So we define mm, omega uh, hat e plus. So this is a this ship, which is going to be the image of the tape module tensor with O plus. Okay. So again, we are working always over these uh, over converging neighborhoods. Then this is going to be a O hat plus a line bundle. And we, we can also take uh, the not completed part of this guy, which we can just take it as the intersection of this omega hat plus with the initial shift of um, 
Uh, mo motor shift. So again, this one is a O plus line bundle. Um, and using this theory of the, of the canonical group, then actually we can say something about the shift and the tape module. Well, we can say something about this deal of not P to the N. So we have the following. So the current group, we have that this uh, TPE tensor we of those mod P to the N. Well, maybe I'm here, I'm going to be uh, not very precise because there is some uh, uh, minus, it's not exactly the P to the N, but after doing some uh, to, to that, this construction, one can actually take P to the N. <coughs> so this is going to be the number curve. And this little map, which factors through this omega plus e, and so of at the end, is going to factor through the dual of the canonical group. And this is actually going to be an isomorphism. Okay. So, Mm. With this uh, object in mind, one defines uh, what is going to be a set P cross one plus P to the N or plus reproduction or torsor uh, related with, with the modular torsor with, with this uh, omega E plus. So this torsor is going to be essentially basis. So such that uh, well within this uh, D log map, we have that B belongs, the ratio of B belongs to the image of the canonical group, the dual of the canonical group, mod P to the N. Okay. Um, yeah, using this uh, D log map. So with this, uh, one defines uh, well, the shift, the overconverted modular shift. Uh, by taking again, uh, Functions from this torso to uh, some character. We're taking this on this P to some some so. Uh, know that uh, the, the, the two torso are defined either using this tape model or using this uh, canonical group. Uh, but also, one can actually, uh, uh, well, because, because of, of, of the way uh, this, okay, so instead of using 
this dialog map, we can use uh, its dual map. So one can use uh, this omega minus one. TPE to define uh, a torso which I'm going to denote in this way omega minus one uh, cross r, which is our essentially again the basis of omega e, uh, well, the, 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 the kernel, the integral reduction, this omega e. The dual of this guy such that uh, this d log v of v belongs to the canonical group. Not p. Okay. So now with these two torsos again, we can. Uh, it shows that actually uh, one of the following proposition. So uh, we, we have to distinguish in, in the two different uh, locus we have. So first uh, over the canonical locus. So we have uh, the map of torso, which is already defined in, in the paper of Relativity uh, Stevens. Which is that uh, the log of this Iwahori torsor maps to uh, to this torsor uh, some conditions, sending essentially uh, a basis to D log of the first uh, guy. Okay, so we are just uh, somehow forgetting uh, this element and just working with this one. And actually, uh, what we are doing is um, this map will factor uh, through a quotient of this torso given by the opposite unipotent. While in the other side, the other locus, we're going to have a map in the other direction, uh, which uh, is induced again by the D log V map, which goes from this omega E uh, minus one cross R. And well, uh, we cannot expect to actually obtain a basis from only a line bundle. Over of the tape module. So what we can expect is at least to construct a flag in there. So that's what we actually can do is um, have a map from this to this quotient of the torso. Which is sending uh, a guy in here to well, first. I send the, the element I have via yeah, this, uh, the, the left part of the Hodge state map, this guy. And here we can actually take uh, any lift. Of uh, B dual, which lives in omega E to uh, this TPE tensor over. Okay. So, as you summarize what is going on here, so we are taking uh, a flag.
So in this first month, we actually take a flag uh, given by the Iwahori Tsugubo, but by, by the level of P. So we, until we take flag of uh, PPE, and we send it to omega e. Okay. Uh, of course, since uh, omega e is one dimensional, then uh, the flag is going to be only one vector uh, with a basis of different pieces. And while in here, we take a flag. Omega minus one. Um, again, since uh, this is one dimensional, we just refer to, to one vector, and we extend it to a flag of TPE. Okay, for the geometry version of this guy. So, um, once you, you have defined the, this, uh, these maps of torsors, I maybe want to split the both in two. Uh, the next construction you, you make is uh, take the, the functions with values at some character of these torsors. So, Um, let this. So we, we take uh, a W. This the white space. Um, and we take U of CP cross. So W is, is going to be this spa of uh, CP of the Iwasawa algebra. Um, the, the, the generic fiber of the Adding space attached to the to, to Sawa algebra. Some transmission in the previous talk. And we're going to, to fix U, an opinoid in here. It can be taken as a, a ball in, in the, the web space, for example. And finally, with the node CP to Uh, omega u, the universal character. Okay. So, uh, since we are working in a, a quasi compact subset of, of the world space, you know that this character. This guy is, is uh, locally analytic. And actually, we can, uh, by adapting again n, changing n maybe, or the level, we can assume that it is uh, n analytic. Okay, so this character is going to extend the character of C cross, one plus. P, Pn of the disk. Pgn, where this sum we see it as a, a neighborhood of C P cross Gn, the added space in the in Gn as, a, as an added space. Okay, so then. Uh, with this uh, universal character, what we, as I mentioned, what we use is 
you take components, uh, of the torsos. So, remember we have over x1 epsilon over x omega zero epsilon. We have a map from uh, this to this. And we have a map from this to this uh, which again uh, by definition uh, sending uh, and similar over this one Is actually CP cross one plus P to the N or plus equivalent. Okay. For these two shapes. For these two, these two maps are actually equivalent respect to this analytic neighborhood of, of CP cross. Uh, so taking Shifts. Here is also, and here is a hat of uh, the character. This is just uh, in the the character. So we are going to, to obtain a, a map for then taking duals. We will obtain two maps, one uh, which goes from a, a, some geometric distributions. To the shape omega kappa inversal, maybe after completion with the uh, after tensoring with the completed shape. And on the other side, we'll have uh, the other direction of this map somehow. So we'll obtain a map from omega minus kappa inversal to these uh, shapes of distributions, which it's actually, the, this is uh, the definition of these two shifts. Um, so, with these maps in, in hand, uh, what is left to do? And I'm going to finish with that. Like to do is take a commodity more precisely taking uh, this H one commodity. Uh, or uh, cohomology with this one, or cohomology with supports. So, if I didn't explain exactly how this cohomology group uh, is really fine, but what you do is taking these these two cohomology groups. And using the, the, the projection from the uh, 
that, that you know how to compute the direct image of this completed sheet. Uh, from the proton side to the even the analytic side of, of this of the model mm -hmm. so R1 of the i of this is only that i of this so building these maps you will obtain a, a the maps to one from cosmology. I know we have already passed uh, three minutes, so just maybe we, the last thing let me write the maps uh, and then I, I, I finish. So I think in these two maps you will get um, over X one uh, a restriction map from the the type homology, the proto homology of these uh, sheets of distributions to uh, the H0, the restricted map of this uh, omega one epsilon of this kappa equals equal to two. Here there is an explicit Kodaira Spencer isomorphism. We have two. The log differentials, and on the other side, so this one is uh, essentially D log composed with some restriction map, and the other one goes uh, as a composition from uh, this uh, community with supports. This H one X again of these uh, geometric distributions, uh, which are as a composition of a core restriction. I'm sorry, as a, the D log B map and a core restriction map. Okay, then uh, one can actually prove that uh, these maps are going to be equivalent respect to the action of the, this UP operator, and finally will deduce. Uh, well, actually, one has to prove that these maps are compatible with the natural map maps towards the usual uh, D log and D log B maps or for the classical uh, ships. And then uh, you use the genericity or the weight space to, to obtain an uh, interpolation of the equation more at least at the first level of the exact sequence. Okay. So, Tina, I'm going to stop here. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, Juan Esteban. Uh, are there questions? You've explained to us how to compare the Proetal cohomology with the Zariski cohomology of, um, of omega k. How do you compare the, uh, the geometric distributions with the usual et al distributions? Okay, so for that, uh... That is actually quite important. Uh, the, the idea is to use this uh, primitive comparison theorem of Chosen. Using that, since X is proper, then you, you can apply to that. And actually, uh, well, some, something else which I one has to, to check is that these uh, geometric distributions are going to be isomorphic to, the, let's say, the local system given by the distributions, uh, tensor with a good. I mean, with a certain completion of, 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 I mean, one has to take care of a little bit of the, the completion of this one, but this is going to be essentially uh, the usual distributions, which are defined using this uh, function from set P cross to set P to um, some uh, coefficient ring. Uh, you do have the relation. Then uh, you apply this uh, primitive comparison theorem as chosen. And you, you obtain that the, the two things are actually the same, uh, a poor homology. And what puzzles me a little at this point, in the, in the Andreata Jovita Stevens construction, 
you have to sort of exchange the Athenoid you with some possibly slightly different open, wide open um, yes. set, so it's functioning as profinite. Do you yes. not have to do that here? Uh, yes, yeah. actually, uh, my, understood, my understanding of that is that you choose this wide open unit disk because these ships, uh, you, you want to write down these ships as uh, inverse systems of, of finite uh, local exactly. systems. Yes, and then you want to guarantee that uh, this cohomology are finite to use uh, meter level and actually get uh, that the same for cohomology. But actually, uh, I think you can write down all these things with uh, this uh, formalism, which is uh, written in the, the paper of Boxer Piloni, and maybe George is going to explain that later on, in terms of Banach shifts over, over these sides. And also, the point is, is that uh, uh, this shift of distributions uh, usually is it's not with the uh, is seen as, as, a, as a Banach space, uh, just taken by the dual of uh, some uh, Banach space with the strong topology. But once you, you take these uh, filtrations, which are given by changing the, the analyticity and uh, some kind of change the, like the completion you take, you are endowing these ships with the weak topology. And since uh, for uh, finite slope uh, uh, theory, this uh, is not in the, is independent of, of the radius of analyticity, you can take uh, the weak topology and you will actually obtain uh, local systems, even if you're working with, with Athenoids. Thank you. Okay. okay. Are there other questions? I have a very down to earth question. Uh, at the very beginning, you assume that capital N is at least e greater or equal to three, right? Yes, yes. Why was that? No, you just, just for actually uh, having a honest modular curves and uh, have representability essentially of this modular curve. It's just- but, uh, but the gamma one of N is not honest. It, sorry? <laughs> X one of three is not honest. Uh, okay, so maybe greater than five. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so you just take, uh, yeah, the point is you only have to take a uh, uh, same level big enough to have a real motor. Yeah, yeah, so, a million variety on it and everything. Okay, so you need five. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, probably this can be written for other things, but uh, I don't know who to do. So. Okay. Okay. Any other questions? You know, I have a little question for you. I didn't quite understand what is the support uh, that you are that you are using for this um, left hand side mm -hmm. guy. Uh, what support is is that? I don't see quite clearly what what you wrote. I didn't didn't quite understand what you wrote. Okay, so. Um, so I think that uh, picture will help, I hope. So the point is that these this, uh, overconverted neighborhoods are uh, actually one strictly contained in, in the next one. Uh -huh. um, so the, this, this one is a couple of shocks, is uh, it's, uh, not very good shots. This one is uh, mega epsilon, and the uh, smaller one is this X. Sorry, you see this omega epsilon plus one. Sorry, uh, W epsilon plus one uh, neighborhood. So uh, uh, I see, I see. So the radius is one over epsilon, right? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, okay, 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 okay. I didn't understand. Yeah, yeah, okay. I, I understand. I, okay. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm sorry. I, I yeah, 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 okay, okay. I see, I see, yes. I see. And, uh, and when you say closure, you mean closure in what kind of topology? Uh, the anti topology. Yeah, actually, I mean, I define the uh, community with supports also for the proactal side, but actually what well, I think what you have to do is project into the analytic side and then composing with the 
uh, commodity good supports, and this is going to be the same actually, since the composition at the level of the functors, the gamma are actually the same. I see, okay. I'm sorry, can I ask you something? In the main statement, you said that you have an exact sequence at the final slope uh, part, mm -hmm. but also contain the critical part, I mean, slope k plus one, so you have a result there too? No, 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 no. Uh, what, what I say is that around, uh, let's say, for k maybe bigger than two, or than that, uh, you can construct, uh, let's say, which belongs to U uh, QB. This, uh, you pick this sapinoid and you take a uh, regular weight, positive uh, regular weight in there. And what I said is that locally around this guy in U, the smallest slope interpolates. It, it, when I say the smallest slope means slope less than k. So yes, it does uh, around K, so that's why, they, well, except for, for I mean, uh, what, what you actually do, you, you fix H in here, and you fix H less than K plus one, and this is going to interpolate the slopes for, for the weights which are bigger than, or which satisfies this, this, this inequality. Because so it's not, well, it's you don't treat critical situations. No, no, no. no. Okay, okay. And so you you know exactly the bad weights, or you know that there are finitely many. Yes, yes, it is. It is exactly in the, the same as as the proof of the proof is is uh, there is. I mean, since we are going to have a, a map of. Uh, finite dimensional uh, modules over, over the, the algebra of, of the weight space, uh, which is generically uh, trajective. So we will have all the things in many ways. Okay, sounds great. I think at least uh, the idea and the picture is quite clear. Very exactly. nice. Okay, any questions? Anybody, anybody else wants to ask something? If not, uh, thank you so much, Juan Esteban. Hope to see you soon. And uh, okay.